just got to this junction. Rock Creek Trail 1.6. That's the trail I was on yesterday on the wrong trail. So it did intersect. I had a feeling it would because it was going the same direction. But it would have been longer. But still, it was easier. <laughs> wow. If I would have had a different map, I could have figured it out. Cottonwood Pass 3.6. Son of a gun. If I would have stayed on it, could have made the creek last night. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, good morning. It is September 15th, Wednesday, day 51 on the Mule Trail. <laughs> well, I just showed you that junction. Holy crap. If I'd only known, I'd have stayed on that trail. Less climbing, it would have been longer, but hell, I'd have made the lake last night or yesterday. Well, I ended up leaving about 8.30 this morning. Got a good night's sleep. It wasn't as cold as I thought it was gonna get. I mean, it was cold, but no colder than the night before. Actually, probably was a little warmer the night before. <clears throat> so I have 4.4 to the lake. Then after that, there's no water for another 8.4 miles. There's a spring off trail. And it's probably where I'm gonna have to camp because then there's another long carry. Cause I gotta have tons of water in the morning to start with. So, but that'd be about a close to 13 mile day. It's a little chilly this morning and I'm going uphill. Had no water to clean up this morning, so I'm looking kind of raggy. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you the sights on the mule train, mule trail. Well, here's the trail, right up the rocks. Well, uh, as you saw in that sign back there, I've left the National Park. I'm now in National Forest, I'll be in National Forest and National Wilderness areas. Uh, so I don't have to have a bear canister, but there's nowhere to get rid of it till Kennedy Metal so. Uh I've been following for two days now, a boot track, which is probably a ranger, and then it looks like a Lone Peak, and I think it's a Hoka. So I'm thinking there are two southbounders ahead of me. Well, I finally got to the top. I wonder if that's my lake. Chicken bone or chicken something lake. <laughs> Here's my view to the left. seen on the way here
It was 12.30, uh, just left Chicken Spring Lake, drank water, cleaned up, cleaned my shoes and feet, all the dirt and sand, and uh, put sunscreen on. Now I'm heading downhill for a while, and I'm back on the mule trail. <laughs> and it's just chewed up to pieces. But anyway, I got eight miles or eight and a half to the next spring, so I'm carrying two liters of water with me, and that ought to do good. I drank about a liter and a half there at the lake. So, it's time to get back to hiking. Well, I just got to the uh, Cottonwood Junction. It's right up here. The PCT. Now it goes this way. The horses all, that's where they come in at. So look at this trail. It is just smooth, firm. It's sandy, but it's not dusty and it's firm. Well, it's about three o'clock. I just ran into a wilderness ranger. She gave me the ride act. Well, according to her, all that stuff the park rangers were telling us was false, that we were supposed to get off trail. The trails are closed. I'm not supposed to be on trail. So I had to do a little fibbing. I hope I don't get anybody in trouble. <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, she said the trails are opening up at midnight tonight. So she said, I guess you're good to go. And she signed my permit, let me go. <laughs> but she did write down a crap load of information. Uh, so I hope my little fibs don't come back to bite me, but I don't think so. She said they're opening up at midnight, so good to go, I guess, to worry about rangers anymore. Since she signed my permit, if I run into another one before midnight. <laughs> Well, I made it to water and a campsite. Yet the trail is uh, way up here, and you had to come down this trail, and it's actually a public corral. There's campsites all in here. Water is back over here. It's a spring. I'm set up right here, and about an hour or less before I got here, smoke rolled in. I mean, the sun should be right there and it's covered up and there's actually ash falling on my tent. <laughs> Swear. So I guess the wind changed here. I mean, just within an hour it blew in. I mean, look at that. I got ash on my 
tent. Frickin' California. So anyway, I gotta hurry up and eat and get in my tent and cover my face up. I'm already plugged up from it. So anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <sighs> By midnight tonight, I'm legal. <laughs> if she doesn't catch my little fibs and comes and hunts me down. <laughs> Which I doubt, but you never know. She was pretty strict. But anyway, talk to you tomorrow.